Well, we told you earlier this week about the tragic death of Emma Rourke, whose body was discovered in Rancho Cordova, less than a mile from her home. Her family says right now their focus is on finding her killer, but they also say she had autism, and they are not happy with the timing of the search. ABC 10's Mike Duffy spoke to local autism experts to find out how having autism can change things. Emma Rourke's family told me that they're upset it took so long for authorities to search for her. I asked Wyatt Walth with Sacramento Autism Services how a missing person situation could be different for an autistic person. To someone with autism, certain sensory stimuli can be overwhelming. For example, if the police are, are communicating via like loudspeaker or they have like loud sirens, that can be extremely jarring for someone who has uh, sensory issues. Autistic people exist on a very wide spectrum, and I believe law enforcement officials need to be trained to account for specific needs during the time of an emergency. A person with autism may absolutely be more vulnerable in a sensitive situation. Uh, law enforcement should work with autistic people in the community to develop, to develop a, uh, a response mechanism that accounts for different levels of needs. Dave Gaines, the CEO of the nonprofit Sacramento Autistic Spectrum and Special Needs Alliance, explained how some autistic people perceive their surroundings differently. There's the kind of lack of understanding of the dangers uh, that can be present with other people and, and in social situations. You know, they can be naive. Uh, they can be, they'll go with anyone, for example. And this is not all people on the spectrum, but uh, a lot of autistic people, um, they tend to be very trusting because they're not thinking about danger signs. However, he says it's not easy to say what law enforcement should do because autistic people want to be treated with equity. It's kind of a fine line. Um, but really, I think it comes down to individualizing uh, the situation and responding accordingly. Now, ABC 10 reached out to the Sacramento Sheriff's Office for comment on the case and if it could influence how they handle future missing persons cases, but we have not heard back.